Trailblazing Yolnu leader Reverend Dr Gondra has been remembered at a state memorial today for his work bridging Indigenous and non-Indigenous worlds. The 79-year-old passed away in June, but the legacy of his work is set to live on. And Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following story contains images of Dr Gondra used with the permission of his family. A traditional send-off for a man so proud of his culture. Dr Gundara has been remembered as a shining light for his Yulnu people. He stood tall and fearless, piercing through the darkness that has been suffocating his people for decades. Never did he compromise on what he believed was right for his people. Dr Gundara became the first Aboriginal Methodist minister in Australia, spending 30 years chairing the Arnhem Land Progress Association and was an advocate for Indigenous rights to the United Nations. The one message all speakers echoed today was how he was able to bridge the gap between Yulnu and non-Indigenous people. Because of that, he was a teacher and, a, and selflessly helped all of us to understand two worlds that he dedicated his life to and tried to bring together to live in harmony. He was also a staunch advocate for truth-telling and treaty, something he never got to see in his lifetime. Some used the solemn occasion to keep pushing. Treaty and sovereignty must be acknowledged and accepted by governments, the parties, and Yolngo working together but beyond all of his accomplishments, the doctorate, the Order of Australia, the board roles, he was a proud father to five children and 32 grand and great-grandchildren. He loved his family. He welcomed all partners, provided support and guidance to his children through their lives. He was kind, generous and patient. A pioneer for his people, leaving a legacy behind and work ahead. Isabella Tolhurst, ABC News, Darwin.